cheaper Samsung Micro LED TV may be on the way, because the company is planning to reduce the number of steps required in manufacturing by adopting a new LED chip transfer technology. Let's talk about this. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. Micro LED has long been considered the holy grail of display technologies. It is self-emissive without needing a backlight, and so is capable of true blacks, vibrant colors, and wide viewing angles. Perhaps more importantly, Micro LED is inorganic unlike OLED, and so shouldn't suffer from permanent screen burn or burn-in from prolonged use. However, one key factor that has prevented Micro LED TV from becoming mainstream is the price. Even the most affordable Micro LED TV from Samsung, namely the 110-inch version which was announced late last year, still cost over 6 figures either in Great British Pounds or US Dollars. Although, if you use 3 Bitcoins to pay, you would still at least get some change back at the time I filmed this video in February 2021. For those of you who have been pinning your hopes on micro LED TVs as a viable replacement for OLED, because you can't tolerate the risk of burning given your viewing habits, there appears to be some progress on the pricing front. According to Korean electronics industry publication The ELAC, Samsung is planning to simplify its LED chip transfer process to reduce the number of steps required in its micro LED display production, hopefully leading to lower prices. Currently, the South Korean giant transfers the red, green, and blue LED chips individually onto the printed circuit board or PCB during the manufacturing process, for example for the 110-inch micro LED TV. As you can imagine, this is very time-consuming, and every transfer increases the risk of damage during the transfer process, which will require further repair, thus explaining the low yield and very expensive price of micro LED TVs. What Samsung plans to do going forward is to combine RGB into a single chip, and then transfer the entire chip onto the printed circuit board. This development has at least two advantages. One, by combining RGB into one chip, the resulting chip size will be bigger, allowing for slightly easier placement onto the PCB in terms of accuracy. Two, Transferring one RGB chip instead of three separate red, green, and blue LED chips will not only cut down the production time, but also reduce the risk of transfer damage, both of which will hopefully lead to lower manufacturing costs. According to the ELAC, if this single chip transfer technology is successful, Samsung may even consider doing an RGB RGB multi die one chip transfer or using magnets to align the LED chips during the transfer procedure to further reduce production cost. I have to warn you though, even with an increase in efficiency and yield rates thanks to these new developments, micro LED TVs are still going to be quite expensive. It's like shopping in a Montclair sale. Down jackets that have been discounted are still going to be a few hundred pounds, since the original retail price was thousands of pounds. There is also the question of size, my favorite subject. At the time I filmed this video in February 2021, it is almost impossible to pack the micro LEDs in an accurate enough manner to achieve high resolution at consumer friendly screen sizes of 55 or 65 inches. That's the reason why Samsung's micro LED TV starts at 110 inches with only 4K resolution, although the company plans to release smaller sizes later this year and those are still going to be 88 and 99 inches. It's just too big, a common complaint I hear frequently. So if you think you are going to be able to buy a 55 or 65 inch micro LED TV at a similar price to OLED or mini LED TV, say 1500 to 2500 pounds within the next few years, I want a bit of what you're smoking, because I certainly need it during this UK lockdown. If you would like to watch more videos on next-gen display technologies, I've created a playlist here if you would like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.